said it at the start. Saints keep losing guys to division rivals. It's the weird trend that keeps happening over the past 24 hours. And once you thought it was over with Caden Ellis going to the Falcons, David Onyemata going to the Falcons, and Shai Tuttle going to the Panthers, we get one more. And it's probably actually the biggest one so far. It's Andy Dalton signing with the Carolina Panthers. According to Adam Schefter, it's a two-year deal with a max value of $17 million. Now, I'd imagine that's incentives playing into it. So it seems like he'll get at least $10 million of that seventeen. And it's interesting. Look, I'm not going to sit here and badmouth Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton came in last year as the backup quarterback for the Saints. Jameis Winston got hurt. Saints decided to roll with Andy Dalton. They felt more comfortable with him. And for all the frustration there would be at times, there was always that sense of, okay, he's still just like Andy Dalton at a later stage in his career where he's supposed to be the backup. He's not really supposed to be playing a starting role the way he did with the Saints. So, I tried not to get super frustrated about that. And I think a lot of fans did the the same thing as well. So when I see this deal, my initial thought is, look, for the Panthers, they need a bridge quarterback because they have the number one pick now after the massive trade they made with the Bears. And I don't think there's a lot of better bridge quarterbacks right now in today's market than Andy Dalton. Saints raved about what he could do in the QB room when it comes to helping others, knowing plays, talking about him having a photographic memory. Uh, That is something that could come into play for the Panthers, right? With a young quarterback, whether they take C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young or even Anthony Richardson, whoever they take at number one, you have that luxury now of letting Andy Dalton start for a couple weeks and waiting until number one pick is ready or just sitting on the bench for 17 games and offering advice to that number one pick. So there is a pro there, and there also is, in hindsight, a pro for the Saints, and that is the comp pick formula. The Saints have lost a lot of guys now to big contracts so far. David Onyemata. Got a big contract, three-year 35. Caden Ellis got a big contract, three-year 21. Marcus Davenport got one-year $13 million in this economy, which is kind of nuts. And then today's deal, Andy Dalton with the Panthers. And Shai Tuttle, three-year 19 with the Panthers as well. So five players who have left, if my math serves me correctly, and if it doesn't, then I apologize, but I'm pretty sure it's accurate there. The Saints can get up to four comp picks. Right now, they got five players who have left on deals. Andy Dalton's deal actually is pretty good because it will factor into the comp pick formula, but because the Saints have already lost five free agents, the Saints can sign someone to a relatively decent contract that would be of impact to them next season, and it wouldn't change the fact that they still be eligible for four comp picks because of the way the first wave of free agency has really played out. So, look, it stinks to lose Andy Dalton to a rival in the sense that Intel can be shared. He's a veteran quarterback, but the Saints kept Jameis Winston for a fraction of the cost of Andy Dalton, which is actually pretty intriguing. And I've said it yesterday. The only knock on keeping Jameis Winston is you have to deal with people being ridiculously unreasonable on Twitter. uh, And they kind of show their true colors, whether or not they're fans of a player or fans of the team. And that will be an issue. And I've chosen to ignore it for the last 12 months and I'll ignore it for another 12 months if I have to, but that was the only knock because Jameis Winston is more talented, more upside than Andy Dalton. And now he's cheaper. So that actually ends up being kind of the third plus in all this equation, but uh, I wish Andy Dalton well, just not well if he plays against the Saints.